Hello, it's Mickey from Bar W Day Lily Farm. I just wanted to show you after I got the grass put in yesterday. Guess what? We got about an inch of rain last night, and it's still raining. I went out and fed the animals and thought, well, I can go outside and do some work. Guess what? I just about got soaked. But let me open up in prayer. Lord, we just want to thank you, Lord, for your many blessings. Ask, Lord, that you would just take and bless this time today, Lord. Lord, you see all of our viewers, the ones that are subscribed, the ones that are uh, that uh, are watching us, Lord. I just ask, Lord, that you'd bless them. Lord, help our gardens to grow. If they're sick, touch them. Lord, just meet any need that they need, Lord, if it's salvation or whatever. Lord, we just want to thank you, Lord, for everything that you've done for us. And Lord, thank you for helping us on our farm. We pray it all in Jesus' name. Amen. You know something? I just thought that was such a blessing to see that rain last night. Just got done with it and uh, got woke up early, early this morning, probably about 5 o'clock. Man, I could hear that sweet rain, that liquid sunshine. And I was thankful for it. And you know something? I'm going to be thankful when this grass gets up. And uh, I went out to feed the animals and got soaked, which is fine. It's going to work out in, in a, my workshop. Probably will a little bit later on, but I'm having to wait till it slackens up a little bit. Uh, we got the taters in, got the onions in. Oh, and I am going to go ahead and do a video on putting some taters in a tub, uh, in a wicked tub. I did have I did have somebody mention that something about you need to still do that. So I'll do that before you can see how they how they come out. Oh and I got to thank y'all. We got 291 subscribers. Thank every one of you for subscribing. My wife said she can see my beard coming off. She just wanted to take it a little lot closer. She says, I can't wait to see that, stu that long stuff come off. She's planning on making a big to-do out of it. I don't know what all she's going to do, but she's got something in mind that she's going to do. She's at work right now, so. Oh, and I just want to tell y'all. You know something? I am very well blessed. I get to stay home, and I get to play in the dirt like I did when I was a young, and I enjoyed that. You know something, I get, instead of using the little old bitty toy tractors, I get to play with the big tractors and machinery. And I thank the good Lord for allowing me to get it, because I used to have to do it by hand like everybody else, but it didn't have nothing. And it was tough. Uh, when me and Kim first started out with the Day Lily Farm, we done it with quill bars, shovels and pitchforks and it made it tough but you know something now as we got older the Lord has blessed us and we've been able to do get our, our tractor I've had Bob I still got my Bobcat I had another tractor and I did not got rid of it but I've got all my farm equipment and the Lord has really blessed us on it and but anything that we do if you want to ask questions about an easy way to do it just like me laying down doing the onions. That's the way I have to do it to keep from hurting my knees. Uh, but uh, where I can move the next morning. But uh, I'm always doing something. I'm not going to stop. I've heard people that retire come up and say, hey, I ain't got nothing to do. I'm bored to death. Man, come on up here. I'll show you. I can keep you from getting bored. Guess what? Ask Todd, I can find something for you. He'll tell you. You ain't gonna stick around me much and not not get bored. If it ain't nothing but going down there checking fences, <clears throat> uh, putting hay in, messing with animals, gardening, cleaning up. Oh, we're always doing something here. And when it's a rainy day, Usually I got some stuff to do. Sometimes I might take off just to help help myself get ready for the next day. But you know something? You can always find something to do. 
I don't care if you don't have nothing but a part to do. And you got a deck on it. Oh man, you can have all kind of garden stuff on there. Look at that uh, YouTube channel on wicking tubs that we done. You can have that. You can do microgreens in your house. And I mean, raise all kind of food. And uh, we're uh, in the process of, uh, we're thinking about getting us a, a, a freeze dryer. So if we get that, we'll show it to you. Because uh, we've noticed, uh, we've been doing some, uh, looking at one where that you can freeze dry your eggs, some of your produce and your, and your garden stuff, to where it'll last 25 years. That's what we're thinking about. We ain't made up our mind yet, but I'm just letting you know what we're thinking about. And, uh, oh yeah, uh, thank y'all again for, for subscribing. You're a blessing. Thank you. And uh, I'm going to get off from here now. And y'all have a wonderful day. And uh, think about things that you can do around your house and around your apartment and stuff. Even if you're renting, you can do the uh, uh, wicking test because if you know that, you know, if they come up and say, hey, you're going to have to get up and leave, put all that stuff in, a, in the back of a truck, take it to your new place. You still have produce. You ain't going to lose it. So I've had people to tell me that I can't do it because I rent. They don't want me digging. Well, right there's your way of being able to do some produce. Well, I'm going to get off from here. Y'all have a wonderful day, and uh, we'll see you later. Bye. Oh, and do subscribe. <laughs>